me, myself, and I. Three simple words that are all related to each other, but each with their own role in English grammar. In today's Premier Quick Tip Tuesday, let's learn how to use these pronouns properly. The plan is to share these tips in just a few fast minutes. Me, myself, and I continue to confuse language students worldwide, both language learners and native speakers alike. Most of us realize many grammar rules are relaxed when dealing with casual conversation. And I want to remind you that if you ever take a specific kind of language test, that's testing your understanding of the English grammar, make sure you use the formal, accurately approved versions of the rules. Me is an object pronoun. We use it when someone else will perform the action to you or for you. It is not the subject of the sentence. It is always, always the object, and that's why it's called an object pronoun. My boss gave me a raise. The taxi will bring me to the entrance of the office building. Myself is a reflexive pronoun and directs the action expressed by the verb back to the subject. I wrote myself a reminder to call the new clients. The subject pronoun I refers to the person doing the action. The reflexive pronoun is used when the same person is affected by that action. It can also be used in some situations when you want to show emphasis. Use as an intensive pronoun to highlight a noun or pronoun already expressed. I completed the sales call myself. My team didn't attend. This use of the reflexive pronoun is for emphasis. I did it alone without any help. Is this making sense? Give me a thumbs up if it is. Now, let's finish with I. I is a subject pronoun and is only used when referring to yourself as the subject of a sentence. You are taking action, you are the subject. Using the same example, I completed the sales calls myself. You did the action and are the subject of the sentence, so you must use I. Have you ever gotten these confused? Many people have. So here's a tip to make sure you're using the correct word of I or me. To check that you've used the correct pronoun, remove all the words between the subject in the verb and the pronoun. For example, the sales numbers surprised Jack and I. The sales numbers surprised I. Mm -mm. That's not a grammatically correct sentence. You have to use me. The sales numbers surprised Jack and me. The other hint is that Jack and me is the object of the sentence and not the subject. You would only use Jack and I if both of you were the subject of the sentence. For example, Jack and I were hired on the same day. I hope you enjoyed the first Quick Tip Tuesday. Let me know in the comments if these quick little lessons are helpful. I hope it has been, and if it has, please like, subscribe, share with someone, give us a little bit of YouTube algorithm love. I'd appreciate it. And if anybody wants more lessons, please let me know. Comments are appreciated too. I answer every single one. Never stop learning and improving your English grammar.